The Uptown Art Fair is wrapping up its 59th year. Organizers and businesses alike are hoping it brings boost to a neighborhood that's been in transition. WCCO's Jason Rantelis spoke with businesses that are hoping for an art fair boost and continued success from this year's near record attendance. All right, so what are we getting? The Uptown Art Fair is back for just its second time in four years. More than 300 artists, six miles worth, stretch along streets like Hennepin Ave. That one's called AT Phone Home. Christy Abbott specializes in mixed media collage. And I love hiding imagery in my pieces. But when I moved here a decade ago, everyone's like, you have to go to Uptown. You know, it was the place to come. Safe to say Uptown has changed, even in the last couple years. Trying to bring life back to Uptown, you know? Nice collection going yes, on here. Yes. She's hoping the art fair will do just that. I think we broke some records in attendance, and it felt basically back to what the Uptown Art Fair was many years ago. Uptown Art Fair director Jill Osiki says crowds are much improved since last year. 2022 was the first art fair post-COVID. It's exciting to see so many people back here on the streets in Uptown, which is exactly what we want and where we want to be. Arts and Rec Uptown, later known as Uptown Collab, is just the latest Uptown business to meet its demise. You don't have to look far to find more. It's either feast or famine for Uptown businesses during the fair. Some flourish, others completely close down. Some businesses struggle. Hoban Korean had locked doors Sunday. It's really hard to function because of the traffic, because of just the foot traffic. Well, employees at Daisy's Bar and Rooftop say business has tripled during the fair. They're hoping for new returning customers after this weekend. Prince loved Uptown. And I'm like, yeah, he didn't even sing about Uptown. Christy says the energy has returned to Uptown. She has faith. It's here to stay. I'm hoping that this can kind of lift up town again. Have a Today. wonderful day. Thank you. In Minneapolis, Jason Rantala, WCCO News. Organizers say there were upwards of 100,000 people at the fair on Saturday.